Hi, in this guide I'm going to show you how you can make a USB pen drive bootable and install many applications on it. If we head to computerforums.org and I'll just show you the document where everything is um, in detail. So if we click on computer articles and computer software articles and scroll down and just click on this document here how to make USB thumb drive bootable uh, at the top there's a little introduction got the contents in this document I'm going to show you five methods uh, that you can make different um, bootable drives uh, pre-checks you need to make sure that your computer is actually um, able to boot to USB just gives you a little description there of what, what you've got to check okay let's go on to the first method we're going to use a program called uh, HP USB disk storage format tool this will basically format your USB stick and make it boot to um, a DOS window you can then copy uh, .exe programs to the USB stick and run them under DOS. Okay, first of all, you need to locate the drive letter of your USB. Uh, this is a flash drive, and we can see it's not got USB, so I'm going to plug my USB in now. And we can see here, it's the D drive. You need to download two files. First of all, download this program here. Then you need to download the MS DOS. Or we're going to use the Windows 98 DOS files. So download both of those programs. And I've downloaded them already. Um, if you start the HP program, it's Windows 7, so you have to do run as administrator. this is going to format your USB stick so be very careful make sure up here we can see it's the D drive and I know that the USB stick is 8 gigabytes so I can see that the size matches up as well um, file system we need to select FAT32 uh, I always select quick, quick format but you don't have to you can leave that off you need to tick this box as well now I've downloaded the files and I've put them on my desktop in this folder here so what we need to do is tick that box and just click on here and now browse to that folder you can see it's there the OK button is now selectable and click on start and that's basically going to format your USB stick and it's going to make it bootable and it's going to copy all of those files that are in there as well so you can use them when you've booted to your USB okay I'm just gonna close that the next method this again is gonna do the same as the first boot method it's gonna create an MS DOS bootable disk uh, but the good thing about method 2 it's slightly more advanced you can put on there your own version of DOS that you wish. Uh, you need a program called U-Booting. So just download it from this link here. And as you can see, it's a step-by-step -step guide. Um, I've put a link here to allbootdisks.com. That website's got quite a few ISOs of different versions of MS-DOS. Okay, so let me show you this program. Okay, I've downloaded the file if you just click on it. Okay, so we've downloaded an ISO file, so you need to select disk image, select ISO, and then browse to where where you've um, downloaded your ISO to. I haven't actually um, downloaded an ISO, but what you'd have to do is you'd have to select it and then click on open and it will put it into there 
down the bottom here make sure USB drive is selected and again make sure that the right drive is selected as soon as you've put all that information in just click on OK and again it's going to create a bootable USB drive and it's going to copy all the contents that are in that ISO onto the USB stick Okay. next method we can create a bootable antivirus USB stick this will be very helpful because you can install all these different scanners onto it so if you think your PC is infected with a virus you can just create this disk and you can scan it with all of these different scanners and it should pick up the virus um, so let me just show you this program you download uh, Sardu from this link here it's got step by step instructions there how to use it but just let me show you downloaded it here okay so we want antivirus so you can just select which ones you want to use so if we wanted to use all of them we would have to tick, tick them all so if we just select this one what this is asking you is it's actually going to go to the website and it's going to download the latest ISO the latest ISO will contain the latest virus definition database so you know that you're up to date with all the latest uh, viruses if you just click yes it's going to automatically download the file for you and then prompt where you want to save it you can see down the bottom it's it's got the process progress sorry what you need to do is once that's downloaded you need to save it into this ISO folder it says put your ISOs here just paste it into there then go back and double click you need to close the program then double click on the program again what it will do is it will put a tick there to say that this has been downloaded and is in the ISO file and we can put it onto the USB stick and then when you're ready to compile the disk just click on that icon on the right there make USB and it will create a bootable USB stick and it will copy all of these that you've downloaded onto the disk. If you have any questions about this tutorial or anything at all about bootable disks just come onto our website and post in our forums and we'll be happy to help you.